All right, welcome to Unbelievable Yoga with Jill. Let's start with our affirmation card. And it is just simply, I love it when it's simple because it's easy for us to play it through our mind while we go through our time together. So the words are just simply, life supports me. Just as simple and easy as that, life supports me. So let's go to the top of our mats and let's come into that mountain pose. And in our mountain pose, let's take those long, deep, smooth breaths. And let's really open up the chest. Let's lengthen the spine. And in your mountain pose, and as I want you to really be self-aware and go through all these little things as best as you can, as I mentioned them, like lengthen the spine, drop the shoulders, pinch the shoulder blades together, let the shoulders fall farther to the floor and then you're going to breathe deeply feel those ribs expand as much as you can today I want those knees soft the core tight the feet grounded even push your toes into your mat and just feel how it really roots your body down how life is supporting you and how you're supporting life and we're supporting life by doing things like our yoga practice like taking care of ourselves try and find our way through whatever chaos that life is giving us because apparently that's what life is all about. Life is all about chaos and working our way through it. All right, so let's breathe. And again, a reminder just to modify what you need to. If you need to pause and breathe, that's okay too. Just try to come back to the words, life supports me. And just gently and lovingly and with as much meaning as you can. And that's one thing I've learned from my yoga practice is it's not about the words. It's about the reaction we put to those words. So don't just repeat those words. Even if you don't believe that right now, depending on what you're going through or might be going through, repeat them with meaning. Life supports me and just have that power behind the word, the words and that that makes for me that makes all the difference that's the concept you fake it till you make it kind of thing right so just feel the power in those words life supports me all right now the purpose of unbelievable yoga is so that we feel amazing when we're finished and that comes from movement so let's slowly start moving. Let's start with flowing through our chair pose. So let's take a deep breath in. I want you to slowly exhale down. I'm going to keep my hands at heart center. Inhale. And exhale. And we're going to gently start to warm up the legs, increase the blood flow. And every time you move, every time you breathe, you are telling yourself that you're there, your body, you're there to support your body, to build strength, to work out that negativity. So if you choose to, you can start moving your arms in different directions, get those joints moving. And just move with whatever your range of motion is. This is great for strengthening the back and the legs. And let's just do one more breath here. And then let's take a deep breath. And we're going to, I'm going to pull my hands through heart center. So I'm going to bring my hands together above my head, slowly bring them down. And let's come back and let's reset in that mountain pose, which means we are rolling open that chest. We are grounding that, those feet. We are rooting ourselves into the floor. Big, deep breaths. And now let's flow side to side. So inhaling up, 
and let's come side to side. Let's always keep those knees bent just a little bit. And so I creak and crack as we flow side to side. I want you to reach it up and gently come over, reach it up, gently come over, pull the belly button in. Again, root yourself as deeply as you can into your mat. See if you can just stretch up a little bit more, stretch it over. All right, now let's take that deep breath in again, bend at the knees, come up, pull the hands through heart center, come down, take those moments in that mountain pose. And now let's flow through our forward fold. So inhaling up, always a long spine through here. And then I want you to take a deep bend of the knees, inhale and lift with the heart center. And exhale it down. Again, you're building strength in the back as you flow. And we wanna work at keeping that back long, shoulder blades tight. What that does, it's gonna start building the muscles in your posture. It's gonna give you strength in your back. It's reinforcing that when I go and I lift something in real time, out in real life, I do it with proper form. I do it with a strong, you know, a nice straight back. I'm not pulling with my back. It's you lift with the heart center and that could save you from a back injury. All right, on your next breath, let's come down and let's pause in our forward fold. Even when you come down and you bend and you come up in a reverse one dive, again, it reinforces that we use the strength of our legs to come up, that we're not just hinging and, and pulling with our back for absolutely everything. We have to remind ourselves, body needs to work as one everything works together and the unfortunate thing as we get older we get lazy and we get bad habits okay we got to reinforce the natural things watch a child play they do everything with proper form and then we lose it as we abuse it over the years so your yoga practice is going to build those muscles back up and reinforce, reconnect the brain with the body. All right, a wonderful stretch here through the lower back into the hamstrings. They work so hard all day for us. All right, now let's take a deep breath in. Again, pulling the hands through heart center. Keep the knees soft here. Pull the hands through heart center. Come back. Reset in that mountain pose. So again, come back to your basics, which is roll, lengthen, pull the core in, ground the feet, soften the knees. When your knees are soft, those quads are contracted just a little bit. And it's those little bits of contractions all the time that will build strength in your knees. Everything that we want, it makes a difference. All right, now let's step along the long edge of your mats. And let's open up the feet, turn the toes out. Press the knees open just a teeny tiny bit. Okay, so see the, that little bit of a difference I did if you're you're able to, to look. Okay, press in with those feet just like in mountain pose as I almost fall over. Root yourself into the floor, shoulders over hips, hands up, fingers are wide. And we are gonna flow, inhaling and exhaling. And again, flow with how your body feels. 
if you get to the point where it's a little bit tight, just kind of come up. It is going to loosen up as we flow here. Open up the chest. Really feel like you're feel like you're overdoing it. Just mm, open it up. Okay. You're going to breathe deeper. It's going to make it easier to take in those deep breaths. For me, that was one of the most challenging things about starting a yoga practice. It's just breathing deep. Often you forget, but the breath, like I said, even if you're just watching, you're pausing, that's okay. Just practice the breathing. Close your eyes and just feel the breath come in. Feel the magic of what you're doing. And drive in with those feet. Just feel those inner thighs work for you. Feel the power you're creating, the strength you're creating. Drive it up nice and tall. Now let's come back to the top of our mat. We're going to take that deep breath in again. So big breath, hands at heart center. And here comes our yoga superstar, Brenna. Come back down. And let's reset in that mountain pose. <sighs> Big, super deep breaths for me. All right, now let's go into that lateral stretch to the side. So big breath in. And reach it up over. We're going to pause and breathe. And one thing I like to do in this pose, and you might want to try it now, so when I'm here, I go into the pose and then sometimes I just lean forward just a teeny tiny bit. So here I'm straight and it's just a slight little and I can just feel everything loosen up here. Okay, so just kind of it's okay to wiggle in your poses. Just, just that little bit. Just do it nice and controlled and you might find some little spots that you need to work out. All right, now let's take a deep breath in. Let's inhale again. Let's reach up, inhale, exhale over. Wiggle it if you choose to. You can even grab the other wrist and gently pull. And it feels so good. Soften the knees. I forgot my knees straighten there a little bit. And then, like I said, wiggle it if you want. So my right side when I do that is a little bit tighter. Perfect. All right, now let's release. Let's take that deep breath in. Let's pull the hands through heart center. Exhale it down. And now let's take another deep breath in. And we're going to come and we're going to pause now in chair. So let's build some strength together in chair. So let's sink. Hold. Breathe. Eyes are forward. Try not to look at the floor. You look at the floor, you might start coming out of your pose and not know it. Okay. So I always try to look kind of straight ahead, sometimes up a little bit. And that helps me keep my shoulder blades just a little bit tighter together. So if you can ask yourself to sink a little bit deeper, again, root into the floor, support yourself. Life supports you and you are supporting life by driving those feet in. Root it down. Even picture some roots from your feet, just kind of grabbing on and holding on tight. All right, now big breath in. Let's pull the hands through heart center again with that breath. And another big breath. We're going to come back down. We're going to pause again in that forward fold. So come on down with me. 
and let's pause and let's hang out here. If you like, grab those elbows, swing it side to side. And now placing our hands on the mat, let's come down onto all fours. And we always come into our cat and cow. So with our breath, let's gently flow through cat and cow. So round it up, exhale. Inhale, gently lift. So some things I can suggest if you're ever having, you know, just one of those days. We all have one of those days. You don't feel like life is supporting you. You're frustrated. You're overwhelmed. If you can take five minutes. Come into some of these poses. That lateral stretch to the side. Forward fold. Child's pose. Cat and cow. And just allow yourself permission to escape just for a few minutes. You can even come back to these words. Life supports me. And you are sending the message to the universe that you're supporting yourself. And that you have standards. And that you expect support. And that it supports you. And I do truly believe that support will come. All right, so now let's take a deep breath and let's go into child's pose. And now if you choose to, you can either remain in child's pose or you can come into a downward dog. Now, I obviously can't do downward dog, but I can do dolphin pose. So downward dog is similar to dolphin pose, but you're up on your hands. Um, hands are underneath your shoulders. So I'm going to lift into that dolphin pose carefully because of my back. Okay, so lengthening my spine, lifting my hips. Like I said, downward dog, you're just up on your hands, shoulder blades pinched together. You can, if you choose to, pedal your heels. I can look at my puffy ankles while I'm here. So feet should be hip distance apart. This is getting some nice blood flow to your hamstrings, a nice gentle stretch. So in either dolphin pose or downward dog, we are building strength in our upper body. Wonderful. Now let's come back down to the knees. Let's press back into a child's pose. All right, now if we can, let's inhale up onto our knees. We are going to expand our chest. So you can grab that beach ball behind you if you choose to, just like this. You're holding onto that big beach ball so you don't drop it. Or you can place your hands on your back and lift into a kneeling camel.
So even on your knees, squeeze the glutes in together. Stabilize yourself. My chin is in, my neck is in a nice alignment with my spine. I'm, you don't want to do this. Right? We're not, it's not like, you know, you see those pictures in yoga magazines and they're all contorted and yeah, no, that's not yoga. This is yoga. Okay. This is yoga. They do that for marketing. They do that for, yeah, some people can do that, but that's not what yoga is about. All right. Now let's exhale back into our child. And now inhaling four, we're going to go into a kneeling um, side plank. So I'm on all fours. I'm going to kickstand out my left foot. So I'm just kind of, if you can see it, I'm just kind of, just like a kickstand. It's coming out. I'm up on my toes. I'm going to open up. I'm going to put my hand underneath my shoulders as I lift my foot, my leg, my knee, my hand, all in one nice line together. So please check that. Please check that. Usually the foot comes forward. Okay. You might feel like you're in a straight line, but probably a good chance that you might not be. Okay. So let's lift hand up. I want you to pull up right through here for me, right through those obliques. Pull that belly button in. Remember, every time you do that, every time you are building strength, okay? You are contracting those muscles. So pull as hard as you can and breathe. Tighten up. Feel the pose. Feel the sensations through your body, okay? Feel the goodness that you are bringing to it. And if you get sensitivity on that knee, which I just did, usually, usually it's just a tight quad. So you can always have extra reinforcements close by. Now let's inhale up. Let's windmill over like a towel or another yoga mat, something to put underneath your knee for a little bit of cushion. It's usually just the muscle saying, yeah, I'm tight. Don't put pressure on me. Okay. So if you've ever gone to a, a chiropractor, anyone, and they've worked on your muscles or massage and things sometimes are just like super, super sensitive, that's what it is. It's just those tight muscles. All right. Nice, big reach. Again, core in. That's going to help stabilize your balance here. Again, reinforcing outside of your practice. When we go to do anything awkward, we get knocked off balance. All right, now let's windmill down. I'm just going to turn this way so that you can see me a little bit better. Come back down to all fours. We're going to go on the other side, kickstand out the right leg. Open it up. Okay, one thing I've heard many times from my clients over the years, you know, living, you live someplace where you get ice and you slip, where they've slipped on ice and they just knew they had more control falling on that ice through the fall because of their workouts it was like just instinct so little things like this make a big difference again pull right through here wonderful And then let's come up. I always have to be careful on the side because there's just a little bit of tightness in my back still when I do that motion. Inhaling up, come on over, stretch it out. That side stretch for me always feels like a million bucks. It's golden. All right, now let's windmill down. Let's come back down to all fours. And we're going to press back into our child's pose.
And now let's inhale back up. Let's expand the chest once again, beach ball or kneeling camel. I'm gonna change things up. I'm gonna grab my beach ball this time. Driving my knees into the floor, rooting myself through those knees. When I think of rooting myself, I always picture a willow tree because they say that, you know, the willow tree roots. Really, they can find water <laughs> wherever it is. They can, they are determined, persistent, and they will root themselves and they will find life. And they will support themselves. They don't give up. Be that willow tree. So my happy childhood memories is being at my grandparents and grabbing on those branches of that willow tree and just swinging out in the country air. All right, again, let's come down back into our child's pose. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go into those final moments. A little bit of reflection. Seated position or lay flat on your mat. It'll be completely up to you. All right, so now let's come onto our mats. I'm going to come into that seated position. And you do whatever you choose to. And let's spend the next couple moments just quieting our mind, repeating the words, if we can, just softly. Life supports me. And when I do that, any other chaotic words, emotions kind of come in, it just kind of helps me zone out. So just quietly. And again, get that feeling in you. Life supports me. Life supports me. All right, my friend, my warrior, my pickle, whoever you are, let's bring our hands up. Let's bring our hands to heart center. It is time to leave our mats.
And as we leave our mats, I leave you with these words. Life created me to be fulfilled. I trust life and life is always there at every turn. I'm in, I am safe. And when you need to, I want you to come back to these words. Simply life supports me and I am safe. Thank you so much for joining me for Unbelievable Yoga with Jill.